the last few years have taught us anything at all, it's that everything and anything is possible. So anybody that speaks from a position of certainty and says, here's what's going to happen, or this scenario is impossible, or any of those things, like that's just wrong. It's just wrong. So I think we have to approach everything and say, sure, anything's possible. And it is possible that China becomes the dominant superpower. It's also possible, and in many respects, maybe likely that they don't because they have so many problems. And so you have all these blocks. Let's, if we just look at the world right now and say you've got China, you've got Europe, and you've got the U.S., each one of them has a mountain of problems. And I think you're right. It's a race to see who can solve their problems. Unfortunately, I don't think any of these places, maybe the Chinese do, Maybe they, maybe they get it. Maybe they actually recognize, oh, like, holy shit, we've got a lot of problems. We've got to fix this. I don't see the U.S. government embracing this and saying, we have so many problems and we need to solve these. You got, you know, Joe Biden goes out and he says, you know, the biggest problem that we, that we face in America is white supremacy. That's the biggest problem in America. It's not the threat we face from the Chinese. It's not the fact that the dollar may, you know, very well lose uh, at least market share, significant market share and reserve status. It's not the gargantuan national debt. It's not our inability to spend within our means. It's not you know, erosion of the military. It's not infrastructure. It's not you know, tens of millions of children that were left behind, the educational deficits. It's not a health care problem. It's not the mental health crisis. It's not school shootings. It's white supremacy, right? Unequivocally. And so when you see stuff like that, when that's what the leadership comes at you with, it's hard for me to think, now those are guys that get it. You know, look, I'm not saying, obviously, you know, social relations, racial relations, all these things, obviously, everything could be improved on. Every social issue clearly could be improved upon. But you're never going to actually make any forward progress if you can't properly prioritize. And this is the way, this is, I mean, this is the way real life works. I mean, everybody in their lives, you have problems, I have problems, anybody watching this has problems. You never actually make any forward progress in your life if you can't properly prioritize. You've got to be able to actually diagnose and understand what are the problems that I have and how do I prioritize these? You know what I mean? And, and, and healthcare workers understand this very well. You know, if somebody comes into the hospital and they've got, you know, they've got a splinter in their finger and a gunshot wound in their chest, you know, the, the doctors and nurses are going to figure out pretty quickly which of these do we need to treat right now and which of these do we kind of ignore and just punt until a later date. And the, the people that are in charge in the United States, and I'll just use this term loosely because I think you can incorporate the media and, you know, all the, you know, the, 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 the talking heads on CNN that want to tell us what the problem is. Everybody wants to tell us what to get outraged about. And, and the, the prioritization, this, the system of prioritization in the United States, I think, is so deeply flawed that you have people that, again, they, they take all these problems. And sure, there are a lot of problems. There are a lot of social problems. There are poor people that have been left behind. There are you know, racial and ethnic minorities that, you know, that could have a you know, better standing. All these things that are obviously problems, but, but if you look at it as the, the nation as a whole and go, well, what's the thing that affects literally everybody in the country? Okay, and let's maybe start with those. Let's look at the biggest problems, but they just don't have the ability to do that. And so this is, I, I think, uh, a huge challenge because if it's a race, you know, who's going to be the superpower comes down to a race for who's going to solve their problems the quickest. I don't even think these guys know that they're supposed to be doing that. I don't even think they get it.